Hey guys, it's me, Jade the Yoni Pony, and I'm going to give you my opinion on the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic opening. First, we'll start with the obvious. It's not better than the original. It's more modern. The original opening was soft, calm, and had only a few words. See? Softer. It doesn't tell us anything about the show, really. It lets the viewer guess and imagine, which is how the toys were marketed back then. And the ending is just as soft and open. The ending is a bit more personal than the opening was, addressing the viewer directly, as many shows did, and some still do. However, the main message of the opening and ending, at least in this set, is that every day is beautiful and there is no end to the possibilities that a single day can bring. And at the end of the day, we can go to bed knowing that with sleep, a new and possibly better day may come. Okay, maybe I'm reading a little bit too much into it, but that's how the original series was bland characters with simple everyday traits so that you can insert yourself and your friends into the story. And because each pony was a blank slate, you could make them into anything you wanted. That was part of the charm, what made you want to play with the toys. No other girl was going to have your ponies, simply because you created them yourself. The cutie marks hardly if ever meant anything more than their names. I'll go into depth with the subject of cutie marks at a later date. If you want to listen to something about cutie marks, I suggest you check out Digibrony's channel. Now, on to the Friendship is Magic opening. At the beginning, we get only a callback to the original show. My little pony, my little pony. Ah, my little pony. I used to After, we enter a fast-paced and storytelling song, which has a very pop rock feel to it. In the song, Twilight tells us how she always wanted to experience friendship, which contradicts what we learn about her in episode 1, where she shows obvious disinterest in friendship, or at least in parties. In Shortcuts, we are reintroduced to the others and their base traits, which they tell us via things that make friendship work. And of course, the girl vice of having a bunch of best friends, something that abruptly ends after high school I might add. As we can clearly hear, this opening and ending are clearly about friendship, the series' overall theme. It's less about the adventure of the day and more centered around friendship in general, which is a good thing for season 1, when Twilight is still learning how to be a friend to these five very different and very heavily defined ponies. And that is good. Overall, these two openings do what they must. They introduce us to the show's premise every single episode. They both have the capacity to be stuck in your head for about an hour, and they make boys throw up with their girly message and lack of action. But then, you have to remember, this is a little girl show. What did we expect? I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm going to try to analyze every song in the series, since it's something that not many ponies do. So until next time, I am Jade the Yoni Pony, and I'm not your mama's peg sister.